Dark Mode is here. Hey, I'm back with another video, and today we'll be looking at Dark Mode support in Tailwind CSS 2.0. Now that we got Dark Mode support in Tailwind, let's check it out here. I got, I'm got i on the Tailwind website, tailwindcss.com. I scrolled down to their Dark Mode section. Let's take it for a little spin here. We can toggle it on and off. Now it looks like all we have to do is add this dark colon kind of prefix to any of our CSS uh, utility classes. Similar to how we do it with responsive. If we're doing a small responsive, a large responsive, then now we're just doing dark. Now I was reading on their Tailwind blog section on their release and I thought this was funny. Ever since iOS added native dark mode, all you dark mode nerds haven't been able to leave me alone. Well, I thank you all you dark mode nerds for not leaving them alone. I built a Twitter UI layout over here with two tweets, and it's already in dark mode. Now let me drag this over from the system preferences. And in general, you can choose your appearance. You can choose light or dark, and that's what's triggering the site to show which one, uh, which version here, if it's to show dark or not. And over here, if I choose light, I change my theme here, it's light, and when I change it to dark, it switches it over to dark. So K1 has two versions where you can make it automatic, or you can use it where you toggle it with a class, where I guess it adds a class to the body or the HTML, and it'll, it'll switch everything over. But let's get started. I'm gonna pick up where I left off in my setup and install video. I'm on my repo here. Now I'm just going to clone this, go here, copy this, clone, and do this, cd into tw version 2 dash dark, I'm going to VS code. Okay, so that's open, let's open up terminal here. We scroll down here, we'll need to do npm install because I don't have any of my node packages in here. And these are our scripts for build, watch, and production. So let's do npm install. And let's just quickly just test it out. npm run build. Okay, so it's built. Now let's serve this up just so we can see where we left off from the last time. And this is what I had last when we finished the install for Tailwind CSS 2.0. Okay, let's go ahead and make some changes here. So I'm just going to clear this. Some stuff we can get rid of. We don't need this anymore. And let's open up our source CSS file. We don't need that anymore, because I think we'll get an error by deleting it from there. Let me do a npm watch. So we have our file watching. Save that. And save this. Building. Now, we need to turn on dark mode. We can do that by doing, we're gonna use the class, not the media. And we're going to import rec colors. And this is from, these are the, the extended palette uh, that Tailwind has added in 2.0. Save that. And I'm going to grab and do light, L-I-G-H, light blue. And do colors dot light blue. Okay, I'm going to save that. Hopefully that builds. Okay, so hopefully, I think that's how you uh, import the new colors. One more thing I'm going to add over here because we're going to have a JS file. Might as well purge CSS and look for uh, classes within our JS file as well. Let's go and create a couple folders. Folder JS, new folder image. And I'm gonna go and drag over an image from just this logo here. Drag that over. 
So I'm going to have a logo here. And that built. Okay, we'll keep this open. I don't think we need this anymore unless we get an error. Now let's oh, create a new file here. App.js. And let's do a couple of things. Let's import here script. JS app. And I'm going to delete this and remove this. Call this wrapper. Save that there. We need a class here and we'll do an at apply. And actually, let me grab the old classes. I have them here. I'm just going to add a couple of BG gray 100 and text gray 900. Okay, save that. And here I'll just add dark mode to here. Change this to dark mode. Save that. And let's serve this up. Okay, let's get started with our markup. We can do here, we're going to do div. And this will be our card. And in here, we're going to have an avatar. And we're going to have card body. And in here, we'll have user info and message. Okay, let's fill this out. Now we just need an image here. And we got dot slash image. And we brought in our image. And this will be code with two. And our card body. Okay, so we need here, we need an H3. And this will be learn to code with two. And in here, we'll need another div with two divs. And this will be at code with two. And this will be a date. I'm going to backdate it to November 18 when it was released. Now, in our message, let's do first major update with Tailwind CSS version 2.0. So that's our message. Let's serve this up, see what it looks like. Or maybe I already. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, I think that's all we need for our markup. We'll add a little bit more if we need it. If there's like a alignment issue or anything like that. Let's start off with wrapper. I'm going to open it up in here. Oh, we already did wrapper. Let's start off with card. And let me see, what else do we have? I add one here for class, card title. And this will be card meta info. And let me add these as well. Okay, so that's going to rebuild. You know, I should hold off on doing such a quick save here. Let's start off with card. We're going to do add apply. And we're going to do rounded. So I want rounded card for the corners. BG white. Uh, shadow small. Pixel or padding. Let me make this bigger. Uh, width full. Max width. And I'm going to do exit. Uh, margin bottom six. And flex. Items start at top. So I want all of them to push up to the top. Let's save that, see what that looks like. Okay, so that's getting a little bit better. Let's add our avatar. I'm going to do flex none. So I don't want it to grow here. Overflow hidden. 
rounded full. So I want a full circle. Width 12, height 12, border, save that. Okay, here, I don't think I added the class here, so that's probably why. Avatar. And there we go. So that's saved. Our UI is starting to look more like a card. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of spacing there. It doesn't look right. So I'm going to do MR4. Now let's do this. I'm going to do font bold MR4 and flex none. And here I'm going to do add apply text gray 400 flex item center. Justify between and flex grow. Okay, save all that. That's good. Now I want this to be pushed up to here. I'm just going to do class equals flex. And I want here class equals flex grow. So it pushes over. And let's add a span. And we'll do class equals hashtag. Okay, so here I'm going to add a hash. Add apply. And I'm going to do that color that we got from our config here. This light color. Light blue. Text light blue 400 save okay so there is our card i think that's everything now let's make a second one so we have two And this one we're going to do so this is going like that. Now, how do I fix that? I'm going to make the wrapper here. Flex column. First major update, Tailwind CSS version 2.0. Tailwind version 2.0 supports dark mode. So we have two tweets now. I'm going to add our button to the top here, and I'm just going to copy and paste that because it's uh, SVG. Put that right at the top of this wrapper. It's going to make it fixed. Now let's take a look at our app. All right, I'm just going to copy and paste my code for the JS. I'll explain it. Uh, here, first I'm getting my ID for my light toggle, which is this. And there's two icons here that are two SVGs. So I'm loop, I'm grabbing them from here. So LS, LS, and I'm grabbing the SVGs within here. And I have my body tag that's gonna that's gonna have my dark class. I have an event listener for this button here. So when I click on it, it's gonna check to see if the body tag has a dark class. If it does, it's gonna remove it. If it doesn't, it's going to add it. I have this function here that is going to turn on or show or hide or toggle the correct icon. So right now, as it is, it's the light. And it'll toggle on and off the light and dark. Over here, it's going to loop through and check to see if it's hidden. If it's hidden, show it. If it's showing, hide it. Okay, so I'm going to save that. See if that works. Okay, so it's toggling. It's adding a dark class to this. Let's go and take, uh, let's go and add our dark classes, which is what this video is all about. Okay, first thing we need to do, change the background. To add dark classes, you just type dark. I'm gonna do BG gray, and I'm gonna do 800. And I'm gonna change the Dark text gray 200. 
Okay. Now for our card, I'm going to change this. Dark, BG, gray 900. And let's just save that and see what's going on. Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, didn't write dark correctly. Hopefully that's the only typo I had. I can go and toggle it. It's almost there. Now I'm going to put a background here in some of the colors here for the text. Here for the avatar, let's do dark, BG, gray, 200. I'm going to do dark, text, gray, 600. And here we go. And that's it for setting up dark mode. It's pretty, pretty easy. Let's build out the production. Make sure it all works. NPM run production. Let's go and check out this. So this is the file. It's minified, purged, uh, everything into one line. And let's see if this still works. Let's reload it. And it still works. So went into here and purged it out using the JS here as well as the HTML. Uh, quickly, let's go and check out if it works in system. I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch it back to light. VS code. Uh, let's switch it back to, okay, this is going to be media. Let's save that. Gonna rebuild it. When I switch it over to media, not the class version, this will now work as well. If you don't want it to be a toggle thing, you want it to just be automated with if people have it set to dark, you can do it this way. So far, it's been pretty easy to set it all up with dark mode. Give it a try, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.